Hey South Africa, this is Lindsay Shooters from Popular Mechanics Magazine. Uh, it's year, it's finally year, the Huawei Mate 10 Pro. It's coming to South Africa in 6 gig RAM, 128 gigabytes of storage flavor, which is the top spec. It's amazing that we're getting it in at the price that we're getting. Reportedly at 18K as the retail, as a recommended retail price, but you can probably get it on some certain carriers a little bit cheaper. So the full view display, as Huawei is calling it, comes in at the 2 by 2 to 1 or 18 by 9 ratio. And that's an OLED display. And it's clocking in at 2160 by 1080p, so that's full HD. Uh, yeah, obviously QM 970 in tow with all those AI capabilities. Porsche design clocks in at a cool 29,000. <laughs> But certain, yeah, certain retailers will be getting specials on that. Yeah, look out for it. It's great. So tell me, what does AI mean for Huawei? Ah, oh, that's a great question. I think um, with so much of hype in the industry right now about, around AI, I mean, the, the entire tech world is fixated on it. That AI is being used very loosely. You know, everybody claims to have some form of AI. And when Huawei announced this new chipset and we started talking about AI, the entire world thought we were launching a new virtual assistant yeah. or some kind of specific function related to AI. Yeah. And it's completely different. What we've actually done is by launching the QN 970, we've brought to the world an AI computing platform. And it's a very big difference from what's available out there now. You're going to find improvements, improvements across the board in terms of your battery consumption, mm -hmm. in terms of how your phone handles processing, um, also camera which is a key tech and everybody uses every day. We've got some of the best cameras available in our handsets. But for it to become truly beneficial to a consumer, they need to be able to pick up the phone, snap, and get the best images. In a few months time, with the development of an app and code, you could potentially walk into a restaurant, snap a picture, yeah. or point your camera to, to your meal, and know how, many of, how much of calories or how much of sugar content is in that meal. And this is the kind of technologies we want to be able to introduce. And we are saying that this range of smartphones are the first in the world to be able to do that. The QN 970 uses the ARM cores, um, which is a standard system. You guys just get that package. Uh, what hardware considerations do you have to make to then implement the neural processing unit on top of that? So the QN 970, the, the system on chip architecture, is exactly what you've said. It's got the, the, the ARM cores that make up the CPU yeah. configuration. We've then got the world's first Mali G72 GPU embedded. Uh, there's dual ISPs for your camera functionality. And we've added on the NPU as a portion, as an additional chip okay. onto the system on chip platform and the architecture. So a typical example is, there's many chips out there right now and the CPUs are great and the performance yeah. is great. It just doesn't know how to handle the workload. So the NPU is one portion of this. And the entire configuration of the QN 970 is what's amazing is that we've managed to make the entire chip 5.5 billion transistors in just one square centimeter of chip. The world's number one AI chipset, being the NVIDIA um, T T100 via Tesla, has 21.1 billion transistors, and it's considered the most amazing, yeah. smartest AI chipset available. I mean, that needs expensive cooling systems. Yeah. It needs servers to optimize yeah. it, etc. We've taken, in terms of a transistor count, quarter of that, and put it into a smartphone that you could just plug and play and bring it to everybody in just one square centimeter. So that's the innovation, that's the technology. And also remember that this is our first generation and we've done it before everybody else. By the time the market starts to innovate and bring more uh, to, to consumers, we will be in generation two or three. And then were there any problems trying to optimize that for Android Oreo? I, I wouldn't say it was a problem. I think it, um, it was more of a challenge in terms of timing. If Oreo is not released in time and they don't have the hardware available as well, they won't be able to develop um, great software. So with regards to the camera, you've taught the device to recognize 13 scenes. Will any consumers coming to maybe pricecheck.co.za uh, be able to teach the camera any more things? So it would recognize those scenes, but for you to actually translate that information into something you could use, you would still need software for that. So we have trained it using 100 million images to be able to understand those 13 scenes without making any error, and it works great. But Google's Tensor platform, so right now you could go and download a beta version on the Play Store. Yeah. It's called TensorFlow Machine Learning, and you point your device at any object, and it'll tell you, absolutely, even a banana, yeah. which we haven't trained it to do, it will be able to tell you it's a banana or a donut or a person for that matter, a computer. Then will you be incorporating it in some of your older products like the P10 Plus? Are there any challenges about around that? 
I think the, the older devices will not have that capability uh, purely because if you don't have the chipset, that's where the problem is. So will the P10 be able to do that? Absolutely. But it might take you that one hour. Yeah. It's one thing to have a language translator and you wait for a response or have completely offline and snap a picture and get instant results um, because it, the processing power is that intense. I mean, you travel on a business trip, no need for even a data connection or even putting a SIM card. Yeah. It can do all of this offline, but much faster than anything else. And I think that's what's most important. All our Huawei Mate 10 Pro coverage is brought to you by PriceCheck, the preferred retail specialist where you can find all the great deals.